fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Sunday the 3rd of November 2024. I hope you are keeping well. I'm expecting a cat interruption during the game because uh, my cat Joni is sitting on my lap. Uh, after I just picked him up, he was absolutely flat out asleep on my Sudoku chair. Um, he doesn't like Sudoku though. Normally when I start speaking, he's going to jump down, but he was really asleep he almost wouldn't wake up when i picked him up and put him on my lap he basically didn't even wake up then like a sleeping baby he's so cute <laughs> anyway he's now attempting to sleep on my lap but i think uh, because i'm speaking he, he probably won't uh, like it for much longer i feel the occasional tail wag so <laughs> there's that i've just finished watching a kurzgestat kurz i can never say it right kurzgestat no kurzgestat uh, video. Um, do you know this YouTube channel? It has like tens of millions of subscribers. Um, it's really good. It's a science communication channel. It looks like it's for kids, but it doesn't have to be. Anybody of any age can watch it really. It has these bright color graphics and explains um, facts, science uh, facts in a, in a in an objective way as best that they can but they often say well you know as best as they try to be objective uh, they can't always be and um, that's a, an important lesson for everybody to learn is that you can't just take everything on trust uh, they just had a video called something like uh, we fell for the oldest lie on the internet and if you're wondering like I was what that could be apparently uh, they said it was not literally the oldest of course but just something that's been around for a long time that if you added up the total distance of your blood vessels uh you, capillaries etc you would come to a total of um 100,000 uh, or uh, 60,000 kilometers i think it was twice or something that could go twice around the earth uh, and this was a statistic that had been used a lot, including in their own videos. And they wondered if it was an actual, actually an accurate, um, uh, an, an accurate figure. And so they, uh, the video um, explores their uh, idea of how to find out and fact check of something that has been kind of ex just accepted as fact for a very long time. And a uh, spoiler alert, um, it isn't true. Um, but um, I should watch the video if I were you. It's it's a very nice, uh, interesting video about how to try to find facts about science when they are when they predate the internet. In fact, the original quotation really goes back to 1920 something, and so uh, it's uh, very difficult to actually find the original source. Anyway, it's a good video. I recommend you watch it. Um, what's going on with this game of Sudoku? This is the New York Times hard level sudoku puzzle and uh i'm not seeing anything <coughs> oh yes i am there's a six across here and across here so there i've seen something i see the sixes and nines so we're going to get six and nine down there that might be useful <coughs> We've got seven across here, so sevens there, fives across here, so we're going to get seven and five over here somewhere. Still not a great deal though. All right, let's wander around then, hoping to find something useful. Three blocking up here puts three into one of these two squares blocking down. Three up here, three across there. There's a three.
Uh, okay, I think this column here we're looking for one, four, five, seven. Seven, yes, we are. And five, seven, and one all attack that square. So that's going to be a four. Which isn't a great help much either, is it? Don't really see how that helps much. Uh, is this 26589? 26589? 26589? 26589? I think it is. I think that's 26589 across there, isn't it? So 2658 blocking that square. It's going to be a 9. And s oh, yes, that's better. 9 down here, 9 ac there. Give me a nine. I was about to say, if that doesn't give me anything either, it's going to be a really tough game, I think. Nine's blocking down there. Okay, there's something. Um, so now we know 2 and 5 are in this block, so 2 and 5 are in those squares. That's a pair of 2 and 5. And this is not 2 or 5, it's going to be 6 or 8. And so these squares are not 6 or 8, they have to be 1, 3, 7. So 3's then are here. Does that mean anything? 3's are up there, 3's are there. I uh, not really. Hmm. I was hoping that would be useful, but
I'm going to go through once again and then I think I'm going to switch to pencil marks because I don't think there's much I don't, I don't see much going on here that doesn't mean to say there isn't much going on it just means to say I can't see much going on keep looking at this bottom corner down here hoping it's going to give me something weirdly enough the previous game that I played had something down in the bottom corner here as well that was kind of useful that I couldn't quite see or it took me a while to see I saw it eventually this feels like the same uh, we've let's try doing it bit by bit what do I know about ones there in what do I know about the twos we've got twos in those squares there what do I know about threes Ah, oh, cat's decided to get up. Do I know anything about threes apart from that it just doesn't go there? I don't think I do. And fours are not there. I know this is a two five already, so I'm not worried about that. What do we know about the fours? We've got five blocking down here and across here like this. So we've got fives in those squares. 
Oh, excuse me while I let the cat out. My cat Johnny has had his fill of Sudoku <laughs> for the day. He really doesn't like me playing Sudoku. Um, and <laughs> who can blame him when I have so many things that I miss? Um, sevens we do know are limited to those squares. Hmm, no, I don't think I'm getting anything there. Um... I have no idea why the cat is calling, but he's complaining about something. But he's got plenty of food. He's been fed already. His cat litter is clean. He has no reason to complain. Perhaps he's just calling me into the other room. But it's possible. <laughs> All right, let's go for the pencil marks because I've spent too long on this game already. Uh, let's do this. So we I, we, I know that this is two and five. Let's put that in first, so that I know that this has got to be six and eight, so that I don't mess this up. Because I'm going to forget this. Otherwise, three blocking down there will give me threes in those squares and three somewhere up there. I also have threes in those squares there. We've got sevens down here. I know. And. Uh, Um, let's see if we can do some pair work first of all. That's not a pair, that's three, but it's three in a line, so I'll put that in, in my own personal notations of the system. Ah, we've got six down here and six down here, and we know that has to be a two or a five, so in fact we can place a six there. So now we've got six across here and six down here, and we know that's a two, five, so that's going to be a six in that square. Six up here, six down there, six across there. There is a six, and six across here and across here gives us six in that square, so that's a six, that's an eight. Okay, that was a nice beginning. Much better now. Eight across, eight across here. And 8 down there gives an 8 in that square there. We'll be left with 8s in these squares here if we need them. Uh, we've got 1 blocking down here. We know that 1 can't be in this square because it's got to be a 2 or a 5. So 1 has to be there. Uh, what do we know? 2 blocks across here. So 2s are available in those squares there. Uh, four blocks down here so we know that's a pair of fours which will also give me fours there and then the five blocks across here so that's the other option for five okay right now uh, back over here so we've got one blocking across here here's our one there's our three and the last number to place here is a seven so we know that's a seven that is not a 7. This has to be 2, 4 in this square. Now we've got the 2 blocking down here. So that's going to be the 4. That's the 2. That's the 5. That's back 2 over there. And 4 in that square. Nice little flurry we had. Missing digits over here are 3 and 5. Once the cat's gone, things are much easier. <laughs> um... Uh, 
I never did get around to putting in the rest of the digits, but let's let's put in some pairs if we've got them at this stage now, just to make life sweet. We may not need them, but you know, I'm putting in candidates now. So we've got two blocking up here and two up here. That's gonna put two into that square. Two across here gives us twos in these squares, and that gives us twos over here. Now I'm pretty sure I've got the other number over here, if I remember correctly, seven, isn't it? Seven across there puts sevens into those squares there. And so sevens have to be in those squares there, yeah. So we've got a pair of two and seven in those squares. So this has to be a five. This can't be a five. And this can't be a three. Um, in fact, we know threes have to be in these squares here three and one in those squares any help from down here no nope. we'll put those in so these are not three or one they have to be four and nine so we've got the nine across here that gives me nine in this square four in this square we're missing a one in this column let's put it in let's remove our excess candidate now one blocking up here one across here here's our one that's our eight Oh, sorry, wrong mode selector. I didn't notice. Where's our one? There's our eight. Uh, one means that's a one there. Eight across here means that's going to be the eight there, and this is not. Um, can we finish eights? Eight blocking across here and up here. So there's our final digit, eight. Um, Two, three, five, seven, two, three, five, seven, that's four numbers, so that's got to be the only seven place for a seven now then. So seven blocking down here and up there gives us seven in that square. This has to be a three. This can't be a three. This must be a three. And that can't be a three. In fact, the missing numbers here are one and something, so one blocking up here, there's the one. Something isn't is a uh, four. Um, okay, we've got our five blocking up here. So there's the five, there's the two. Uh, there's only one number left to get in this column. I th no, that is a five, I think. Okay, five blocking across here and five up here gives us five in that square. Five across this way, it puts five here. Five blocking down, there's a five. This is a three. Three blocking up, there's a three. That's not a three. That's a three. That's a one. Missing numbers here are nine blocking across there so there's the nine this is a four four blocking across here and down there gives us four in that square here's the four this is the two two blocking across here puts two there two up there two in that square seven in that square seven finishes the game so as soon as the pencil marks are in uh, it's pretty easy for me uh, but before then i'm scratching my head okay take care bye bye